Now, back to Inside West Virginia Politics with Mark Curtis. It is your money. We must be held accountable for that. And in doing so, we must hold the departments of the state accountable for how they spend money. It's clear that uh, Justice Loffrey is the one that uh, most of the attention has been uh, applied to, but I think you're going to see other individuals that uh, may uh, have uh, things to answer for as well. And welcome back to Inside West Virginia Politics this Sunday, where we're discussing all that's going on inside the West Virginia State Capitol. Joining us right now is Republican State Senator Ed Gaunch of Kanawha County. Great to have you on the show, Senator. Glad to be here, Mark. Lots to talk about. Of course, you're chair or co-chair of the RISE Flooding Committee, and we're going to talk about that in a second. But first, a uh, big vote this week on starting the impeachment investigation of the Supreme Court, a vote coming out of the House of Delegates unanimous. Your thoughts on as we go forward with this impeachment process? Well, it's, uh, it's really sad that, of course, that we're sitting here talking about it. But uh, at the same time, uh, it's uh, right and proper, I think, for the the uh, House and the Senate to deliberate this issue. I think it would be imprudent, uh, even improper for me, uh, to comment on the merits of the case because likely I'll be sitting in the, as a juror in this uh, case if it gets to the Senate. Uh, truthfully, my hope would be that, uh, uh, that uh, Justice Lawfrey might resign and, and save the state all of this uh, money and embarrassment that we're about to uh, go through. Yeah, I assume you're concerned as a, not only as a citizen and a senator, but you're chairman of the government operations to see the kind of expenditures that were, were raised uh, raises a lot of questions, yes, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Okay. Well, let's talk about the flooding issue because that has been a huge controversy at the Capitol. Um, you're chairing this committee with uh, Delegate Kayla Kessinger about uh, trying to get to the bottom of what happened to the RISE West Virginia program that was supposed to have millions of dollars to help flood victims from two years ago. That's right. There's almost $150 million, and actually uh, Delegate Hanshaw, who couldn't be present yesterday, is the co-chair of this uh, committee. We were originally charged with looking at the, uh, the uh, operations and how we, uh, how we went about taking care of these flood victims and how we might do it better in the future because we know there will be a future, there will be more floods in West Virginia. We live in valleys uh, that are very narrow, steep mountains uh, pouring water into them, so we will see this again. Uh, our original charge was to see how we responded before, how can we do it better the next time, and we, we started through that process, and, and midway through it, we, we got a, a charge, an additional charge from the Speaker and the President of the Senate telling us to look specifically into Rise West Virginia. And that's where we're, we've pivoted towards and are doing, that's what we're doing right now. It, it seems unthinkable to so many people that $150 million, two years later, there have been no homes that have been completed. I guess there are some that are close, but there's a lot of work that has not been done. Yeah, we were told yesterday that there have been, I think, 23 homes that are either uh, uh, now uh, ready to be occupied or about to be ready to be occupied. Uh, but, you know, it, it, it would be a mistake not to think about there were 1,500 and some yeah. homes that were completed, cases closed, that was done uh, with volunteer labor, uh, the faith community stepped oh, the churches up in, were amazing. in an incredible yeah. uh, way. And so we did those. We now have 452, I'm told yesterday, open residential cases, another 77 rental cases. And the, re the person we're hearing this information from is General James Hoyer, Adjutant General of the West Virginia National Guard. He's now in charge of the program. The Department of Commerce is out. I know you guys have asked Department of Commerce employees to come and testify about what on earth happened, and you've been frustrated some have quit. I mean, where does that stand? Yeah, the difficult part of this for me, Mark, has been the, 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 we've got many more questions than we do answers. And every time we try to get answers, uh, we can't find people to answer those questions. And trying to do that at uh, the same time uh, uh, that we're trying to also see that this money now is flowing and people are getting the help they need and deserve. General Hoyer is going to do, already has, and is going to do a wonderful job in getting that back on track. Do you think the community will subpoena some of these now former Commerce employees? Because it seems to me they may have a lot of answers and clues as to why this money never got spent properly. Yeah, if you listened to our committee meeting yesterday, you heard me ask, do we have subpoena power? And I've been told that we get that through the Joint Committee, and they met yesterday. We uh, gave them some specific names. Uh, and ask them for the opportunity to, to uh, subpoena and interview those people to find out what did happen. 
And apparently the U.S. Attorney's Office is looking into some of this, too. I know Governor Justice said he provided information to them. Yeah, I've heard that. Uh, I haven't had any direct communication with the, with the uh, U.S. Attorney. Right, well, let's hope that the flood victims get the help yes. they need finally after two years. Senator That's Ed good. Gaunch, Republican Kanawha County Chair of the, the Flooding Committee, Joint Committee looking at the flooding. Uh, best of luck. We'll continue to follow the Thank story, Thank you, Mark. Great to be with you. You're very welcome. And we'll have more of Inside West Virginia Politics after this break. Stay with us.